Welcome to the Today in History channel. In today's video we will talk about the day. April 15th, 1912. Wreck of the Titanic. On the night of April 14th to 15th, 1912, a large iceberg aborted the Titanic's maiden voyage, which was heading from Southampton to New York causing its shipwreck in the North Atlantic Ocean, south of the island of Newfoundland, Canada. At 23 hours and 40 minutes, the Titanic's bow hit the starboard iceberg, and the ship sank in less than three hours. 1,512 people died of drowning, or hypothermia, in one of the greatest maritime catastrophes of all time. Well-known personalities from the Anglo-Saxon world at the time died during the shipwreck, among them Benjamin Guggenheim, Isidore Strauss, and John Jacob Astor IV. The Titanic was a British liner from the White Star Line Ship Company, built on the initiative of its president Joseph Bruce Ismay and designed by naval architect Thomas Andrews, at the Harland and Wolf shipyards in Belfast, from 1909 to 1912. It was the largest, 46,329 tons, and the most luxurious ship ever built so far. Her design was practically identical to that of another company vessel, the Olympic. It had 16 watertight compartments divided by 15 transverse bulkheads that, along with a double bottom, would protect the boat from possible accidents or breakdowns. The media covered in great detail everything that referred to the ship. They made him an image of a modern and safe boat, but the truth is that she had never been considered irreplaceable. The ship sailed from Southampton and made short stopovers in Chibug, France, and Queenstown, today COBH, in Ireland, before entering the Atlantic. The sea had good navigation conditions, but the ship's telegraphers received a warning warning against icebergs due to the sharp drop in temperature on April 14. The wreck moved the whole world. After the accident, several investigative commissions were created, and their conclusions served to take measures to improve maritime safety. New regulations were drafted and put in place with regard to the design and safety of boats. There were many factors that determined both the shipwreck and the high number of victims, there were not enough lifeboats for all passengers and the crew had not received training to deal with that type of emergency. Consequently, the evacuation of passengers was very poorly organized. Captain Edward J. Smith's performance was severely criticized. He was accused of keeping the boat at very high speed, given the danger that the presence of icebergs posed. As much as immediately after the accident the Titanic did not seem to be sinking, the speed and the amount of water that entered through the opening in the hull of the vessel caused that, more than an hour later, the vessel began to yield quickly at the bow, until that ended up splitting in two, because of the pressure. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article, give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.